Are we doing this? Dude, do some slow mo. The objective of ROADS was to design a sensor capable of monitoring road surface conditions to give passengers a smoother rider experience. This sensor works by emitting infrared light out into the open. The light then hits an object and reflects back to the sensor. This creates a an angle that is converted to a voltage output. <laughs> the amplifier and controller are then used to instruct the car suspension based on the voltage output sensed. In order to calibrate the sensor, static distance measurements were recorded in lab view across a range of 0 to 100 centimeters using a white sheet of paper as a reflective reference material. The sensor voltages corresponding to each distance were plotted and a linear operating range of 20 to 50 centimeters was chosen for the sensor. The static sensitivity was calculated by fitting a linear regression line to the linear region and the standard deviations in the slope and y-intercept were used to calculate sensitivity and zero-drift errors. Linearity error was calculated from the maximum variance from the linear regression line, and hysteresis error was calculated from the difference in distance measurement for objects approaching and receding from the sensor. Finally, quantization errors resulting from limited resolution of the DAC system and tape measure were calculated, resulting in a total uncertainty of 2.6 centimeters for the whole system. For the dynamic portion of this experiment, we were interested in calculating the time constant and the bandwidth. To calculate these, we went ahead and set up an experiment in which we held a piece of paper in front of a white box. We pulled away the piece of paper to induce a step response to then get values of tau. These actually gave us uh, step responses in which we converted uh, to, Z, to a z-plot. The z-plot helped us linearize the data and actually pull uh, valuable information from it. With this z-plot, we are able to get our tau values. Then we went ahead and calculated the tau from all five step responses. We gathered our largest tau value, which was equivalent to our slowest time response, and it resulted in 0 0.0076 seconds. To determine the bandwidth for the sensor, the system was modeled as a first-order system so that the first-order transfer function could be solved for the bandwidth. First, the magnitude of the transfer function was non-dimensionalized by dividing by the static sensitivity. Then the non-dimensional magnitude was set to 0.95 in order to solve for the frequency at which the magnitude of the system would be 95% of the steady state value. This frequency would be the bandwidth for the system. The static and dynamic analysis of the sensor give light to possible applications and limitations of this sensor. When used in conjunction with an active suspension, speeds up to 74 miles per hour will give the suspension adequate time to react. The operating range of 20 to 50 centimeters is ideal for placement of the sensor below the front bumper of a car, which typically have a ground clearance less than 30 centimeters. Additionally, the uncertainty of 2.6 centimeters is deemed sufficient because bumps and potholes less than that are not of major concern. To conclude, analysis of the sensor has shown that it is capable of being used for active suspension control, and further testing should be performed to verify its performance. We would like to give a special thank you to Akul, Prashant, Ruka, Dr. Sundarison, and Dr. Dietrich for all of their help and guidance throughout the semester. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Are we doing this? Thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs>